Cat napping means when your baby takes short naps, typically around 30 minutes or less, instead of the recommended one to two hour naps at this age. It can be frustrating for parents, especially when you're longing for a bit of downtime or desperately need to get things done. Hey there, tired parents. Welcome back to our channel. Today's topic is one that many of you might relate to. Cat napping baby related video, We'll explore whether you should be concerned about your little one's cat napping habits between the ages of zero to six months. So let's get started. Normal sleep patterns. The first thing to remember is that cat napping is entirely normal for many babies, especially during the first few months of life. At this stage, your baby's sleep cycles are shorter and they tend to wake up more frequently. As they grow, their sleep patterns will gradually mature and you'll notice longer and more consolidated naps emerging. Sleep environment. Make sure your baby's sleep area is conducive to restful sleep. Keep the room dark, quiet, and at a comfortable temperature. White noise machines can also help create a soothing ambience. Additionally, pay attention to your baby's sleep routine. Establishing a consistent bedtime routine can signal to your little one that it's time to wind down and prepare for a longer nap. Awake time. Another consideration is the awake time between naps. Babies can become overtired if they stay awake for too long, making it harder for them to settle into a deep sleep. Keeping an eye on your baby's cues and ensuring they aren't staying awake for extended periods can make a difference. Additionally, some babies might need help transitioning between sleep cycles during catnaps. Try using gentle methods to soothe them back to sleep, such as patting their back or offering a pacifier if they're old enough to use one. Growth and development. It's also essential to remember that during rapid periods of growth and development, your baby's sleep patterns might be affected. Growth spurts and developmental milestones can disrupt their sleep, leading to shorter naps and more night waking. Lastly, don't forget to take care of yourself during this phase. Cat napping can be challenging for parents, but it's essential to find time for rest and self-care whenever possible. So, should you be concerned about cat napping? Well, if your baby is generally happy, healthy, and meeting their developmental milestones, then cat napping is likely just a normal part of their sleep journey. Trust your instinct. However, if you have any concerns about your baby's sleep or overall well-being, it's always a good idea to consult with your pediatrician. Trust your instincts as a parent and seek support when needed. In conclusion, cat napping in babies from zero to six months is a common and developmentally appropriate sleep pattern. By creating a soothing sleep environment, following a consistent sleep routine, and being attentive to your baby's needs, you can support them through this phase of their sleep journey. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more parenting tips and discussions. And remember, every baby is unique, so be patient and you'll eventually find what works best for your little one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Happy parenting!